Hey everybody, welcome back to One Room Over Gaming. Today I am playing a new game by Octavi Navarro, who I have played pretty much all of their games before. And uh, it's called Midnight Scenes, and I believe this chapter is called The Nanny. We are starting, and it is the Twilight Zone. And I cannot wait. Okay, this eye is looking at me. And I'm looking back at it. Tonight's episode, two innocent children will face their most primal fears, haunted by mysteries from beyond the grave. Okay. Ancient secrets that should never have been unearthed, tormented souls, wandering realities. Turn off the lights and enjoy this chilling tale. My lights are off. That looks bright, it's because I have a front-facing light. I am sitting in a very dark room. Welcome to another dimension. Says the eye. Welcome to Midnight Scenes. Okay, I want to go, though. Let's go. Let's get into the episode. These games are always usually, always usually, new. Hey, look who it is. It's Moose. There he is. There's Moose. Happy Halloween. The haunted dog. Apparently he's going to, he's going to be with us this whole playthrough. That's fine. Anyway, always, mostly. You know what, sometimes- these games are short, generally. Let's just say that. Generally, these games are short. Okay, here we go. October, 1986. I wasn't even here. What are we doing? Let's go. Oh, God. I said, what are we doing? He thinks that something's happening now. Wow, this is already a little bit different. These get this game seems a little bit polished than the ones before. Good morning, my name is John Wilson. I think we're kids playing with dolls. I am also John Wilson. We are the Wilsons. Good morning. Wait a second. I am John Wilson. No, I am John Wilson. What are you talking about? It must be a double. A double? Are you crazy? Doubles don't exist. Oh, but they do. Really? Then how do you explain this? Oh no, you're a doppelganger. My evil double, aren't you? Are you here to kill me and steal my identity? I don't want to die so young. Ah! Yes. Okay. Are you coming to cut? Wait a little. Are you coming to say goodbye to mom and dad? I'm busy. I'm busy playing John Wilson, evil identity. They're going to be away for three days. Won't you miss them? Why are you playing anyway? I don't give a shit. I know they're leaving. What am I playing? What are you playing anyway? Says Oliver. I still can't believe they brought me another identical birth Benny for my birthday. They don't care about me at all. They don't even remember which toys they already gave me. Oh, so they got you two of the same toy and you're mad about it. Okay, they're going to, they're going away for three days. Won't you miss them? Why should I? They'll leave me alone with you and that silly Veronica for three days. Well, I hate them. Veronica's nice. I like her. That's because you don't have any personality. That doesn't make any difference. Okay, well, mom, mom and dad are leaving. Oliver cares. Tina doesn't. Veronica's coming to babysit. Oh, I guess I have to click this. I didn't know. Uh, aren't two bennies better than one? Well, if you don't want to, I want one. Oliver, can I have one of them? No way! I'd rather keep playing this stupid doppelganger thing for the rest of my life. That's rude. Selfish! You're selfish, Tina! No, it's okay. Tina's allowed to feel the way she does. Oh, okay, we're going now. Now I have control. Uh, the M&M stain is still there. I don't think M&Ms should leave stains. Alright, I know from these games... Support your indie devs. Okay. Cool. The message is clear. Support your indie devs. Let's go into Dad's office. We're probably not supposed to go in there. Dad won't let us go over to his office if he's not home. Well, how's he gonna stop me if he's not home? This is the silliness. The Jordan's garden looks so empty since Thomas got sick. Okay. Our neighbors. I'm going to Tina's room. I better not go into Tina's room if I want to stay alive. You are no fun, child. Plant. This poor thing, it's dying. Okay, well, that's... The implication is clear. We have to water the plant. Um... What's in... What's in? I can look out the window. There's a new starling nest in the big tree. Okay, kid likes watching birds. That's fine. We gotta go to the kitchen. The, we gotta go to the kitchen, I say. 
Yep, okay, we're going back, we're going back downstairs. We gotta go to the kitchen, we gotta water the plant. That's all you can do in this world. All right, come on, Oliver. Let's, oh, is this mom and, no, that's Veronica, there's mom and dad, okay. Veronica, where's the kitchen? Don't worry, if anything comes up, I'll call you right away. I, I'm sure they're worried. Have a great trip, the, the bay is beautiful this time of year. Wish we were going for pleasure, not work. We should go, the plane leaves in three hours and we might hit some traffic. How far away from the airport do you live? Bye, kids. Be good. Don't push Veronica too hard. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Veron Veronica, or Tina doesn't give a, a flying frog about where the parents are going. I need to go to the kitchen. I need water. Where's the kitchen? Well, here we are. We still have a couple hours until dinner time. What would you like to do? Well, Veronica doesn't care. No, Tina doesn't care. Oh, I'm going to get these two. I'm going to get all these names mixed up. Tina doesn't care. I want to paint. Let's paint. Let's paint! I like to paint trucks that explode, and your drawings are boring. You paint like a baby. You know what, Tina? I don't need your negative criticism. That's not true. Um, well, we're- I- Tina, don't talk to your brother like that. It's Christina! Only my family calls me Tina. I've taken care of you so many times. Don't you consider me family yet? I mean... My fingertips. <sighs> don't be ridiculous. Well, Oliver looks like your sister is in a mood today. Great. Maybe she wants to tell us what to do. Why does she get to dictate this? I said I want to go paint. Me, Oliver. So, Tina didn't even give a crap until two seconds ago. No one listens to me, Oliver. I want to go to the forest. The forest on the other side of the lake. Yeah, it's super cool. We'll go there sometimes, some afternoons with mom and dad. It's very pretty. The trees are painted different colors. Uh, well, let's just stick with the theme of painting. It's very pretty. The trees are painted different colors. Mom says they were painted by prehistoric women. They were painted by nature. Looks like a big work of art. Can we go, please? That way I can look for my toy truck. I lost it in the clearing the other day. Okay, fine. Just for an hour, then we come back. Oh, I was gonna... You pick the oars. Sure. What do you mean, pick the oars? I just want to water a plant. I don't want the plant to die. I guess I gotta carry the oars. Don't get to paint. Have to carry the oars. I got the rope. I got the oars. Great. Let's go. Whatever. Hole. Is this important? Sparkle hasn't come to eat in days. Oh, no. Oh, Sparkle, where'd you go? Come home. That tree limb. That tree limb. To pier. <laughs> to oars. That tree limb could be, uh important later. Let's keep an eye on that. Do either of you know how to row? I've never piloted a boat. Do you pilot a boat? Leave it to the professionals. But it's safe, right? I mean... Don't be afraid. There are no monsters in the lake or anything like that. Just sit next to me and take my hand. Oliver's brave. Ugh, get in the boat, lovebirds. Okay. All of us into the boat. We need to install the oars first. I don't think we need to install them. All aboard. You just take them with you not that fancy install the oars just hold on don't drop the oars don't drop the oars don't fall in that's pretty much all you can do with a canoe uh can i go for my truck it can't be very far can i go see the tree paintings well i guess we're looking for a truck we wanted to see the tree paintings can i go look for my truck it can't be very far you're always losing stuff you lose your stupid head one day oh is that foreshadowing okay you can go but don't walk too far away i don't want to lose sight of you well you're the only one, it seems, that doesn't want to lose sight of me. I'm going back to the boat, and I'm leaving without the two of you. Haha. -ha. What if I tried? It won't let me. Okay. I guess I gotta go this way. Maybe I can find my truck. I want to know, is this some... Um... Come on, we're gonna go this way, Oliver. You and me. It's the Oliver simulator. Oh, no. Okay. Do we come here often? Is this a shared clearing? Like, are there... Do I have to worry about other people being here? It's kind of a spooky-ass forest. Oh, a chocolate bar! I eat ground chocolate. It's smart. Oh, not if it's open, though. The contain the chocolate bar has to be completely wrapped. People are so inconsiderate. Should I pick it up? I guess not. It's not my truck, I can tell you that. Hey, bird. 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 I want it. Oh, this bird is murderous! Oh, the bird has the name Oliver it's in, its, in its eye. Wait, do you, do you all say Oliver? Okay. Got an achievement for the crow. Tree strump. Not strump, stump. 
They say if you count the rings, you can read their age. We do not have the time, child. We do not have that time. Type of time. Okay, let's check out these bones. Uh, can I have them? It's a bird. I don't know. I'm not a forensics expert on bones. Alright, what are you doing, squirrel? Hey, squirrel, I saw some crows earlier. What do you have? Oh my god. He has a finger. That squirrel has a finger. He is eating... Whatever the bones back that way were, I'm pretty sure that they were not... Can I... Squirrel, don't eat that. That's... Don't eat that. That belongs to... Someone had needed a, a fingy once. Ooh, wait, we got some Blair Witch style sticks here. Very, very spooky. Can I have anything? I can't take nothing. I can't take nothing out this dang forest. Here, we'll... To more forest. Mom never lets me play this far from the clearing. My truck must be around here somewhere. Why? Well, if Mom never lets us play this far from the clearing, why would the truck be here? We're gonna get lost. Oh, my truck. I found it. Okay. Here you are. Who put you there? Well, I'm taking it. What the hell are you doing here? Hey, Oliver, come here. There's something I want to show you. See, this is what I'm talking about foreshadowing. We were playing the doubles game. Then suddenly, Veronica... Not Veronica. Tina. Why can't they get their names straight? I don't know why. I, all of a sudden, Tina is right there. But Tina was with Veronica way over by the boat. Um, hey, Tina. Can I see your hand? Do you have all your fingers what are you doing here i don't think we should do this oh man i know what's gonna happen i know what's gonna happen right now but i can't tell you i can't tell you because that would spoil the game even though i'm pretty sure you all know what's gonna happen now based on the direction that this so many squirrels in the forest one time they ate a kid from head to toe a kid from town from head to toe you know only his bones remained i would have said that's crazy but i we just saw a finger. And some bones. I'm not lying, it was on the news. Hold on. I get the yawns sometimes. And I don't like yawning in front of people. It's a big open mouth and it's... You don't need to see my throat. That's creepy. By the way, where's your brother? I told him not to walk too far away. Oh, he walked. Don't ask me, I'm not the babysitter. Yeah, Veronica, the hell were you doing? You kind of you kind of dropped the ball there. Oliver! Oliver! Oh, we gotta go. Hey, there- wait a minute. Wow, they really just done it up, didn't they? Okay. Is this... What's going on here? Oliver! They really just cleared that. What's wrong? The hell is that? Forest is full of paintings like that. Uh, they shouldn't be. Dad says there's this magical aura from the tribes that lived in the woods. It keeps the paintings bright. This one, though, I haven't seen it before. It certainly looks recent. Okay, well, this has become Painting Critique Simulator. So creepy, you didn't paint it to scare passerby, did you? Did we come here with paint? I don't think we... How do I have painted it? It's like 20 feet tall. I don't think she was asking you. I think she was asking Oliver, but that's fine. Are we going to talk about this more? Or... Uh, come on, it's time we go back home. Vra uh, Oliver's broken. I don't like this place. It gives me the creeps. It's the forest. Come on, Oliver, let's go. I think... Yeah, Oliver's broke. Oliver? Oliver? Oliver's broken. What's happening? Is he alright? No idea. Come on, let, help me get him to the boat. You know, I at the beginning of this game, all I wanted to do was water a plant. That's literally all I wanted to do. I don't think Oliver's okay. Thank God you're back. How are you feeling? My head hurts what happened. Okay, so we saw a Tina that wasn't our Tina. So something, I'm guessing that this isn't our Oliver, or if it is, there's something wrong with him. But based on this whole doubles thing, I don't know. Okay, uh, what happened? What happened? A blood sugar drop, probably. Here, eat this chocolate. Is this the chocolate you found on the ground? Because I don't want to eat that, if that's what it is. Where'd you get this? Well, I mean, you know. It's good! Hazelnut's my favorite! Oh, hazelnut is really good. Really? Mine too. Well, why don't you just start a candy company together then? Hey, are you sure you're okay? Maybe I should call the doctor. The one and only. 
Uh, I'm fine. How long? Well, I want to know how long I was out. How long was I unconscious? You yeah, been in and out for about ten minutes. Is that from the time you found me? You scared us to death. And Tina, where is she? In her room, I think. I wonder what she wanted to show me. What do you mean? In the woods. She told me to follow her. Wait, what? I tried, but she walked so fast. Almost inhumanly fast. Then I found that strange drawing on the rock. Okay, so this might be our Oliver. It really impressed you, huh? Veronica put two and two together. I don't know. I mean, it was a big painting. I looked at it. Come on, rest a while while I heat up dinner. Hey, Veronica. Wait a second. The lasagna I brought will surely bring you back to life. He's not dead. He's fine. Hey, Veronica. Why don't you show me where the kitchen is so I can get some water so I can water a plant? What time is it? Is it 8? Is it 8 o'clock? That's a little late for dinner. I like my dinner at 6. So I have plenty of time to digest it before bed. At midnight. Looks like dinner did wonders. I like that happy rosy face. His face is the same color as it's been this whole day. Now rest, little prince. Have sweet dreams. Don't listen to her. Who? What? Tina. She's always mean, but I think you're cool. Okay, it's we're good. Oh, thank you very much. I think you're cool too. Why don't you start a cool factory together? Really enjoy taking care of you both, you know? You're important to me. Let's get... You're very interesting kids. Oh, these kids. are They are a bit interesting, aren't they? Hey, do you want, to, do you want me to show you my collection of cards? Whether well, they're like playing cards or... It's from the Midnight Zombies TV series. Sure, I'd love that. Okay. Oh, why is that zombie scared? Zombies probably can't feel feelings. Why? This one's the scare, biggest and scariest zombie in the family, but he's always nice to living. Hell yeah, zombie. Okay, who, who else we got? All right, we got baby zombie. Don't be fooled. Even though it's a baby, this one has super sharp teeth. Baby snakes are usually more dangerous than the adults because they don't know how to control their venom. That's a fact. Hungry zombie. That zombie looks hungry and has good eyesight. This one's the most evil. She devours brains. Okay. Zombie pet. And this is my favorite. Isn't she cute? What is... There's a movie about that concept where some family keeps a zombie as a pet. I can't remember what it's called, but it's actually a pretty good watch. I think it's like from the 90s, but that's another fact. Today is full of facts. This one's my favorite. Isn't she cute? Is that all of them? I do like the zombie dog. And I like the zombie... The, the nice to the living zombie. More of those, please. What a fantastic collection. I love it. Oh, man. Hope you don't dream of brain-eating zombies tonight. Get some rest, Oliver. Veronica, the babysitter, says. Good night. Good night. Night! Okay. Hope it's great! Good night. Great night. What are we doing? What are we doing here? What's out in the woods? Show me. Show me what's in the woods. I should be the woods. What? Oliver! What? Oliver! Hey, Oliver, are you awake? I want to have a talk. Before we go any further, I want to have a talk with you. All of you watching this right now, I want to have a, a brief talk with you. Who remembers the Slender, not Slender, Siren Head game? I've never played a Slender game on this channel. Who remembers the Siren Head game where I played Siren Head? Through, and I, or I didn't play Siren Head, where I played a game where I was... Uh, the Siren Head field game. Who remembers that? That music just that we just heard. If you haven't seen my Siren Head field game, you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you do, you probably have some idea of how fucking triggered that music just made me. Because playing that game has... I know that that's a popular little piece of violin music in horror games, indie horror games, but I played Siren Head Field for so much that that, that music that we just heard lives deep in my brain, and that just took me right back to the cornfield where Siren Head was trying to kill me. And also, that game never had an ending, and I'm still kind of mad about it. Watch it. Go watch the Siren Head Field playthrough for more on the whole thing that I just felt. Anyway, Oliver. Hey, Oliver, are you awake? That was like a three-minute rant. Uh, what do you want? Let me sleep. Tina, what's wrong? Tina? Tina? Is this Tina? Is this Tina? Is this Tina? Tina, what's wrong? Tina, what's wrong? It's Veronica. She's gone. 
It, how do you know? Don't creep on the babysitter. She left us. She's downstairs. I hear the TV. Stop, you're always trying to scare me. Uh, man, this game is kind of a mind F because I know that it could not... There's some stuff going on here. Who's can be trusted? Who's who? Who's me? Who's you? Who's the doubles? Who's the triples? Who's the singles? Uh, hey, pff, yeah, you're always trying to... Stop, you're always trying to scare me. If you don't stop, I'll tell mom when she gets back in basically three days. I'm telling you, I saw her from my window. She was walking toward the pier. She was taking the oars. She's leaving us to go live in the woods. She must be meeting her boyfriend secretly. When she should be taking care of us, like that other time where she snuck off into the woods through the boat. You made that up. Okay, but, well, Oliver seems like he might just believe. Okay, fine. Whatever. I'm awake. She shouldn't be with boys when she's taking care of us. That's irresponsible. Exactly what I think. But this time, I have my camera. I'll take pictures. We'll get evidence. We'll get her fired. We'll give her a negative review, even though it's 1986 and there are no reviews yet. Come on, let's see if we can spy on them from the window. Yeah, let's see something. The boat is missing. Shit, I knew we shouldn't have left the oars. They've gone to the other side of the lake. How romantic. Yeah, bug bites at night. How romantic. How? She doesn't know how to steer the boat. I can't. I guess she doesn't know how to steer the boat. More proof that she's with her boyfriend. I think reading out loud makes me need to yawn. I don't know what it is. I can see a light in the forest, but nothing more. It'd have to be a bright-ass light. Dad has the old binoculars in his office. Uh... And you want me to get them, of course. I have to keep watch in case they come back. I've got the camera. You don't know how to use it. Come on, they must be in the desk or the drawer, maybe in the closet. Sigh. Okay, well, I've got my rope and I've got my truck, so I'm gonna go raid Dad's office. What if I go in your room? I'm going in your room, too. I better... Uh, go into Tina's room if I want to stay alive. I don't want to stay alive. Well, oh, I was actually... Hold on. Dad would be mad if he found out I've been snooping around his office. Great, I want to leave Dad's office real quick. And I just want to go downstairs real quick and check the television. Hello, Veronica? Tina wasn't lying. She left us. Yeah, I'm just trying to look at the TV. Support your indie devs, but now they're dead, bleeding from the eyeballs. Okay. Oh, I got an achievement for that. This is why you check the TV. You never know. Okay, we are going to continue this next time. Uh, because even though these games are short, I don't want to make one big long episode. I'll just cut it up into little pieces. So thank you guys for coming back to One Room Over Gaming. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Midnight Scenes, The Nanny. Octavi Navarro always makes uh, really nice indie games. And I like to play them. And I buy them. I pay for them. So I do support my indie devs. Because we need more indie devs. That's how you get really creative games. AAA games are fine and well. But we need as many game makers as possible taking their imaginations and putting them down into the world for us to play their games. Because more ideas is always good. Most of the time. It's how we get creative stuff. So, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until next time, you guys know where I will be. I will be right here, one room over, playing games for you guys. All right, take care. I'll see you soon, everybody. Bye.